Hello guys, welcome to my video. This is Alex Gomez. We're gonna be sculpting Wednesday from the Adams family today. So starting with a polysphere, I just um, you know like the shape of the head, kind of like a the egg shape that I always talk about uh, in my tutorials, full tutorials. And then I kind of like break the head apart in three parts, kind of like where the nose is gonna be, where the eyes is gonna be, and where the mouth is gonna be without getting into too many details. It's kind of like try to get like a, just kind of like a regular face base so I can start working from it. And in some cases, I do kind of like the nose in this way, kind of like blocking out the nose in a, you know, in a sense that you just add an extra sphere and put the nose in there instead of kind of like a pulling out the geometry. But then I just kind of like dynamesh in this part. Uh, then I kind of like mask the sides of the of the head just to pull out the, the ears. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't that successful this time around to do the ears. Uh, I didn't like the model, but uh, anyways, it's kind of like, you know, you make some mistakes and you learn from it. Then I kind of like start I, a little bit more details, no details, but more kind of like a getting that shape of the face. It's not that, oh, this is gonna be. So when I have like a basic shape of the face, I definitely go and use the C remeasure guides to C remesh the head. I definitely recommend this workflow because you can have like a kind of like a cleanish topology and not like a perfect retopology that you will do in Maya. But the topology is, is clean enough to have like a decent UVs and so you can export your maps and you want to adjust your maps in um, uh, other software, Blender or, or Substance Painter like to do so, so you have those maps. If you work like all the way through with the Dynamesh and they have like vertex color, I wouldn't recommend that just because sometimes I, I do it when I don't have the time to, to get like a proper map or things like that. So after finishing like working a little bit more on those shapes, I just um, started working with the aid and definitely I didn't like the results. Uh, the model that I did, the ears are a little bit curved by the hair, so that was a good thing, a, a lucky thing because I didn't really like them. So as you can see, like you, you're getting like the, the proper shape now, like I have like a, like a, it's looking more like humanoid, you know? Because sometimes when you start sculpting, your things are not gonna look that good. And you have to get through that process, like, or, or tra through, through that um, obstacle. Because, uh, yeah, definitely, every single sculpt is not gonna look good at the get-go. So you have to keep working on it, and then you're gonna see that you're gonna start getting kind of like the likeness or getting really close to your reference. Um, after a while, I just um, uh, I paint a sphere 3D and I start making the head out of it, and I shape it so kind of like blocking out. It's not like a, that's definitely how the head is gonna look. I just kind of like a block out because that's gonna help me a lot as well to see how the face is gonna be looking. How it's gonna look eventually. And that, that's what it says sometimes, like, you know, you have your, your head like that and uh, you have your, uh, your eyes, but there's something that is missing and that's one of the parts, like the eyebrows, the eyelashes and the head. And the head. And those uh, features or parts of your model definitely are gonna make a big, big difference on your sculpt, sculptings, how they're gonna look pretty much. Then I just move to the body, like the same block that you can see in my other videos that I walk you through. Uh, and um, I kind of like add some materials, just kind of like to add the eyes and see like, a, because you know, like the eyes are the window of the soul, that's what they say. No, but uh, definitely just jokes uh, aside. This is something that, that it brings uh, a lot of appeal into your character and you can define more the expression of your model once you have your eyes and eyelashes, kind of like, a, you know, 
you start like you know, okay this is looking right it's not looking right do i have to change some things so it's kind of like a definitely like a really good to start adding when you have once you have like a the base of the head like a, you know semi-defined and then when you add those features yeah, you're gonna see if you're going to the right track or not going to the right track. In this case, for for Wendy Adams, um, I was kind of like a getting there but not there, so I have to do a lot of a lot of tweaks right after I add some details to it because I wasn't that happy with the, the result. I tweak a lot. I tweak a lot. So it, it it's not that you're gonna have like a, when you see other videos that you have the process of you know the first the second and the third stage, you know, like a, a block out in primary details, secondary details. Like it, it doesn't work like that. You pretty much, yes, it does work like that, but you still have to to keep modifying your model until you, you achieve the desired likeness. Then I do some more poly paint for the eyes for the mouth, uh, keep moving, I keep kind of like trying to, to, to nail down those features. But um, yeah, so add the poly paint, kind of like move things around, keep adding a little bit more poly paint and keep moving things around. So that kind of like that workflow works for me. I add also the braids, I had like a braid brush that I found from uh, I don't really remember the website that it is, uh, uh, Bad King, I think it is the name. It has like a, some free C brush brushes at IAM. So yeah, I got a break one from there. It's free. And uh, yeah, so that kind of like helps your workflow to actually create a brand new one. Then I work on the color, I kind of like mask extract serum mesh a couple of times until I get the desired shape and I start like shaping it good and I shape and serum mesh and I shape and serum mesh until you're happy with the proper shape so that one didn't work as good so I went back to it and I delete the bottom faces down so I kind of like a, I just wanted to, to get that color like in a better shape so so there you go, I see remesh, I delete and then I bring that down and keep working on it. Then I move back again to the face. Can I get make hair skin tone a little bit pale? I think that works more. And the one that I have, keep working on that. But I found that honestly I didn't, I wasn't liking like her face in this stage of the process. So I kind of like move on, take a break and work on something else and kind of like um, because sometimes you have to take your eyes out of the thing that you're working on so it's kind of like a to, to take a break and then go back to it and then you're gonna find how you can prob problem solve or uh, debug the issues that kind of like is bugging you or do you think that those likeness are not proper or you know or the features of the face so it's nice to take a break and things like that so i went back put in symmetry started working the head a little bit more so i break it out and uh, kind of like moving a lot but i wasn't sure about the hair the, the head sorry i wasn't still sure about the hair so i start kind of like adding a little bit more of a uh, volume in the cheeks as well do more poly paint and to make it look a little bit cuter because right now like uh, the face was pretty pretty kind of like strong features I like probably where the bone cheeks are or cheekbone cheekbones yes and um, so yeah anyways hair is not gonna change as much so I start working with the hair if you guys want to have uh, this uh, hair brush you can find them at my comrade store you can find the link in the description below and after I in the head I just out to groups so I can have a, any individual strands separate and I can move and just as my desire just make sure that you always have like a, a, a mask by poly groups at 100 so you can just manipulate your your poly groups like that added more uh, strands to the sides as well 
just to keep it like more a little bit nicer in those ones because the ones that I did initially I actually didn't like the shape of them but it's kind of like I just, it, it gave me a good uh, kind of representation of how, what I was looking for and then I just delete them and add the proper strands for that side of the how do you call that the um, well, the, 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 bang, the bangs so the same process Auto groups mask by poly, eh, mask by polygroups at 100, and there you go. Then I use the knife brush just to make the, those cuts in, in in those bags there, and the same in the other side. Then I see remesh and add clay build up to add kind of like the details of the hair right there. Keep adjusting. So something that you will always gonna notice in my workflow, I just kind of like go back and forth, back and forth until I, I'm happy with with what I'm doing and I always take a lot of breaks that's the thing I always take a lot of breaks and uh, th that's important you know like uh, work on the face if you see that nothing is working go work on the hair work on the body and then go back to the to the to the head and then you're gonna see that okay you have wanna have a different perspective of what you're seeing and uh, what you can improve on on that and sometimes when you go and do a project like a tree project and then you go back to a tree project oh i can improve this and you can generate more ideas and uh, because you don't you're not thinking about it like the whole time so for me that's what i did here kind of like you know like went back i just face and kind of like i didn't like it and it was looking super weird go back and forward and um, until you know you 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 get that. that's the thing like you know like sometimes you guys are struggling but you know you're not the only one that struggle i struggle i'm sure like a fully gone daddy mac or more people you know struggle like making things like that that's why i like to show my process just how it is sometimes people just kind of like practice and practice until they get it like perfect and then they post the video uh, I just kind of like take a character and just go with it and, and see what results I get. That's what I like to do so so you guys can see that you know you're not the only ones that can struggle like everyone can struggle doing doing stylized characters as well. So now I'm getting like closer to have like a better head shape so I work more kind of like in a little bit of the details of the eyes. Uh, add a little bit more poly paint there, kind of like a little bit of shadows, work on the mouth and um, yeah so on, on the mouth that's the thing it's just like going back and forth going back I keep working on, on it look at your references I keep working on it that's the thing is like a, for me I didn't have an actual reference like a, like a 2D reference I'm just getting straight from from uh, Jen Ortega pictures and whatever I found on Netflix for this character so I, that's how I just started kind of like getting those references when you have a, like a 2D character it's much better like the process is way simple but when you want to create an stylize from an actual like you know like real picture of a person that's what, what it comes harder and, and that, that's sometimes what I struggle with the process when I, when I do this is when I get a, a like a stylized for a real person but um, yeah definitely if you have like a 2D design for it and if you guys are really good designers and drawers and, uh, and can design a really nice character in 2D I definitely recommend like do that approach first and then just uh, create your, your aesthetic character but if you're like me that you're not that good at drawing I will just, just keep practicing it, it will come for sure and um, never give up it's like oh it's not looking like it's supposed to look eventually it will look eventually you will be happy with, with your results but that's the thing like don't give up just keep working at it and that's the important thing then I just added some details in the hair and that's it so kind of like it looks way cuter it looks nicer I did some adjustments after but this is it that's how I got my 
my Wednesday Jenny Ortega uh, Zebra's time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like learn something about uh, from this video. Make sure that to subscribe, to hit the notification bell, and to share this video. And thanks so much for sticking around with me all this time. Like I really appreciate it. The channel is growing, and uh, just wishing you the best. And see you next weekend with uh, another awesome video. Any suggestions for a uh, for a sculpt that you want me to do? Just hit it in the comments, okay? Take care, guys, and have an amazing, amazing weekend and keep sculpting. Bye.